So September's new vehicle prices may seem stagnant, but don't let that fool you. Buyers are still getting squeezed, maybe you included. Despite minor improvements in the market, minor, the overall buying conditions are far from the relief that consumers were hoping for. The truth is, my friends, car prices have barely budged from their astronomical highs reached during the pandemic era surge, and the so-called improvements are leaving much to be desired. So Cox Automotive reports that the average transaction price or ATP for new vehicles hit 48397 last month. That's a 1% increase from August. 1%, but it's still going up. And while some might find solace in the fact that prices are actually 0.4% lower than last year at this time, it's hardly cause for any kind of celebration. Let's be clear, September's ATP is still a shocking 26% higher than what buyers were paying in 2019, five years ago. Imagine paying a quarter more for the same vehicle four years later. It's not progress. It's a financial stranglehold and we're all choking. Even the small drop from January's price, just $28, feels like a cruel joke when you consider the broader picture of things. We're still talking about thousands more dollars per vehicle compared to pre-pandemic prices and each drop is quickly wiped out by the next round of increases. This isn't stabilization, my friends at stagnation. As if things weren't bad enough, electric vehicles continue to sell far above the industry average with an ATP of 56,000 and change in September. Sure, prices are down 1% compared to last year, but let's not pretend that EVs are becoming affordable anytime soon. The steep price tags are still out of reach for a lot of us, and these minor price reductions feel like a slap in the face to those who were told EVs would revolutionize affordability in the auto industry. Yes, new vehicle incentives are rising now up to 7.3% of ATP or 3,500, but let's be real, these small discounts barely scratch the surface of the overall price burden we're all feeling. Even with EV incentives at 12%, most consumers are still paying way too much. Meanwhile, while cheaper models like the Chevrolet Trax, Toyota Corolla, and Hyundai Elantra are touted as saviors in a market drowning in overpriced vehicles. But how comforting is it, really, when a cheap car still costs between $25 and Twenty-six grand. The industry likes to tout improved buying conditions with low-stress trade-ins and price negotiations as signs that things are getting better. Sure, CDK Global reported a record high in ease of purchasing ratings, whatever that means, but that doesn't change the fact that car buyers are still struggling with inflated prices. Credit approvals may be increasing, but the fact remains, consumers are taking on massive debt just to afford the basics in a market that refuses to lower prices. Monthly payments over 700 bucks? Give me a break. Let's go ahead and cut through the industry spin. These so-called improvements in affordability are nothing but small band-aids on a gaping wound. Yes, incentives are up. Yes, there are fewer models that are cheap. Yes, but the overwhelming reality is that prices are still far too high for most of us. And with unpredictable factors like severe weather, hello Florida, election anxiety looming over the remaining of 2024, what's going on with that? There is no reason to believe that things will truly get better anytime soon. Sorry to break it to you. Dealers may be reporting slight upticks in retail sales, that's their reporting, but for consumers, the car market remains a bleak, frustrating experience where even the faintest glimmers of hope are quickly overshadowed by stubbornly high prices and a financial landscape that's spiraling out of control. For what it's worth, you can find and see the lowest advertised prices right now on new and used vehicles in your area just by visiting quotes.everymandriver.com. Just use that drop-down menu, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll gain insider access to dealer pricing. If you don't like or find what you want in your area, expand the zip code, no big deal. If you're willing to drive a few miles outside your area, it'd be smart. You could save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used vehicle right now. I know prices are high, but these are the best prices you can find in your area. Quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a direct link below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest insights from the automotive world. Hope to see you next time. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video.